Well, it could be much more interactive. Yes, she saw the pictures were very few and more moved to the Ziot Irreversible than Internet during the but whether it's on paper or whether it's on the internet, a hydrogeological map usually aims to provide information on, well, first of all, the occurrence of groundwater. Where do we find groundwater? Secondly, it aims to provide information about how deep that groundwater is. How deep do we have to drill before we reach the water table? And it may also provide information about the direction of flow. Thirdly, if we have enough information, the map might provide an indication of how much water we can get from a well or a bore. It might tell us about the permeability or the transmissivity of the aquifers. Fourthly, a hydrogeological map should tell us something about the quality of the groundwater, whether it is salty or not, for example. <coughs> And fifthly, a hydrogeological map will usually try to provide some information about the third dimension, the depth dimension. For example, on this map, at the bottom, there is a cross section, so we can see how the aquifer looks like in depth as well. Well, so this is an example of a hydrogeological map from Norway. As, uh, in fact, it is the only hydrogeological map in Norway because there is only one aquifer. <clears throat> and this is very close to Oslo Airport. Um,